Well, hi, Sandy here. I'll get down here where I can see you. Today I'm going to make some red borders and tags. Um, I've collected some things. I've got my little square red scraps that I like to hang off the edges of my borders and tags. Um, I've got some tag bases that I have covered cereal boxes and stuff with scraps. I've got some border bases that I have glued strips to to use for my border bases. Just made several of them today. I've got some silk flowers. I don't have very much, so I pulled some white silk flowers too. I've got um, I've got red buttons, not very many, so I got my white buttons too. And then I've got um, some ladybugs and um, some bling and some flowers and assorted little things that you would glue on with with glue dots. I've got some star stickers and stuff. Probably won't use much of those. I've got some um, some stars and um, some rhinestone flowers. I've got some bling little rhinestones. I've got some gold embellishments for glue dots and some silver. I've got this page that I printed from uh, my computer. I downloaded some images from Pinterest. Here's some vase of flowers. I really like flowers. There's some birds. I love birds and a bird cage. I love vintage stuff. Here's two Victorian ladies and a teddy bear and these ladies uh, and a gas pump. I like I like vintage stuff. So I'm going to cut those up and and use those for subjects. You got to have subjects for your tags and borders. And then I got my red stickers. I I always cut apart all of my um, sticker pages and stuff, and I use just a, a dot of glue, a speck of glue, and, and put them on these pages. And that because I sort everything by color. That's just how I work. This is there's no Christmas, no special things, just everyday stuff in this. Uh, and then I've got this. I have two of these books that I've made. Uh, this one is red, pink, purple, blue, green, and I have another book that I have so much. Uh, I have these like Project Life cards. These are good subjects, and and I do a lot of cards and stuff, tags and stuff like this that are just for journaling. So if I need to journal on a page, I can do that. Um, I have various things. I have this kind of stuff. These are good for ma making um, embellishments and stuff. Um, so I've got all this stuff, and um, I'll be using that to create stuff. And then I've got my word book. Um, Again, all my stickers and stuff I cut apart, and um, I have a, a section for each color. This is my word, my red section. Of course, I can use black or brown or, or any color I want, but um, I like to add words to my tags and borders. Um, I really love this book because I used to never use my words. <laughs> they were just everywhere, you know, on that sticker page and that sticker page. I didn't know where to find what words that would fit what I was working with. Um, and when I started sorting my words, I did them like beautiful, um, kind of by subject and mixed them all together. But the way I scrapbook by color, I found that I'm looking for a word of a certain color. So this works better for me. You need to do it a way that's going to work best for you because we're all different. So what I'm going to do today next is, um... I'm going to start setting up some of these um, tags and borders like this. I'm going to do it in fast motion. And then, then I will move my camera to my desk and we'll create. So like this is going to go there. And I'll get back to you.
Okay, I'm ready to start gluing them together. Um, I didn't seem to have a lot of red stuff to work with. I got my scissors, my glue. I know there's other stuff. Glue dots. I gotta get my glue dots. Okay. And my punch. Now. So I've got this pretty little birdhouse on some like vintage ephemera paper and flower roses and butterflies. That's gonna go here. Oh wow, I got a lot of Charlie. <laughs> I thought Charlie is just yawning. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> He's in the doorway. Oh, I think they're ready to go outside just when I turn on the camera. I will be right back. I'm back. Yeah, they need to go outside. <laughs> Okay, so I was gluing these things down. I think I'll choose this. This one, what the heck? So today we went to um, Baumgars, which is a farm supply store in, in town. <laughs> And because we never shop there, we don't have a farm, but um, there's a vet in town that um, has a once a year flu, or not flu clinic, uh, vaccination clinic for the dogs and cats. And the rabies shots are $10, and the other shot, the distemper parvo or whatever, is um, $15 which is a huge savings if you take them to the vet you, I spent a couple hundred dollars but with three dogs it can get expensive so we took the oh we loaded up the car we have a, a Chevy Cruze it's just a passenger car just your basic car and we put um, my brother lives with us he has a cat and we have our cat so there's two cats we have carriers and uh, so we stacked those one on top of the other in the back seat and then we got Charlie my big hundred pound dog he looks kinda like a mix between a golden retriever and a lab um, I need more stuff on this and um, he sat in the middle of the back seat <laughs> he, he weighs 95 pounds he's a big boy and then um, my daughter buckled in back there and then uh, in the front seat was me my husband drove and, and I sat in the passenger seat with Rosie our little beagle coonhound mix um, on the floor between my legs oh and the first uh, go all the way out there they just talked and whined and whimpered and <laughs> carried on and the cats and the carriers were meowing and carrying on and and oh geez and we do this every year um and the law here in our state in Iowa is um um the, the after the, when they're a puppy, their their rabies only last a year, um, and it's the same shot. But then after they're a certain age, then they they last three years. Well, last year when we went, their shots had just expired a week or two before the flu the flu clinic. I keep on. <laughs> we have a flu clinic at my job. We get flu shots for free that's in like October September October anyway so um last year we just missed they, they they expired so okay your shots only gonna last a year this time so when they give you your your shot rabies certificate they mark it for one year oh so 
they had to come back this year and get another one otherwise it's three years and then last year was February 10th that they did this and today is February 9th so they expire tomorrow <laughs> but we we made it there today and then I heard them talking to somebody else they said that theirs expired yesterday well no nope, they gotta have it's only good for a year for them what difference does one day make so, uh, it's but then they have the second shot we we have to go every year for that one anyway but it's nice not to have to pay for so many shots when you got so many animals but we got it done thank goodness and then nearby like a half a mile away is the animal shelter and it's time to renew our um, licenses for the dogs so we stopped over there took the dogs in with us and got their new licenses so we got that all done today I'm good for another year that's pretty cute I think I need I don't know what I need a white flower sure I just I don't know I just didn't seem to have a lot of good stuff this time in this color yeah that'll do that looks like two stuck together nope it's one okay I'm gonna have to buy some more medium size uh, glue dots this will last me a while though so today is Saturday um, got to sleep in I usually have to get up at 4 30 4 o'clock in the morning to start work at 5 a.m. and so I slept in until like 8 30 so that's like four extra hours of sleep so that was nice but then when we got back from getting the shots we were tired my daughter and I were tired and, and she fell asleep on the couch for a little while and then after we had dinner, I, I just took a nap. So, <laughs> I just woke up. It's almost 11 o'clock at night, and I'm going to be up for a while now. So, okay, that one's done. Oh, i got to put my punch in. Stamp. Punch a hole. i got kind of a jagged corner on there. i got to straighten out a little bit. Okay, i got two done. I'll do a, a border now. I got this little area covered with tags and borders from off the table. I still got more over there. Okay, man, I just don't have a lot of stuff for this. Um, I need more stuff on it. I don't have a lot of red stuff. Let's see. I've got this vellum. I've been trying to get that used up. So I'll put that here just for no reason. And I got this. This is cut out from gift wrap. It was such, such pretty gift wrap. And a long time ago, I just cut out a bunch of the roses. So that's pretty. And then this is just a little scrap of paper. Um, I think I'll tear it just to make it a little bit more interesting. Maybe I'll put that right there. I need more stuff on this border. It's, it's kind of bare. But I'll come up with some stuff. Okay. So here's a pretty lady. Love my Victorian ladies and Victorian houses. Okay, I got my little things to hang off the side. Got a 
glob of glue on my fingers. Okay. This has like music notes on it. That's pretty. Okay, and then this says always in my heart. Put that there. I thought I wet this rag earlier today. It must have been yesterday. Keep it I keep it here to wipe my fingers off. I need more stuff on here. I think a big white flower. Even though I've got a red rose up there. That's not a white flower. Oh, you know what? I've got this butterfly. Uh, a bit much. It's kind of big for that. I could use it anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I need to use it for something. I don't want it to hang off on that side. You know what? I think I well, I don't know. I don't know. I got this flower. This flower is huge too. No. Okay, now we're getting some more. This one will do. I need more stuff on here. Okay. So we'll put a big glue dot here. Put it on there. the red button in the middle and this will flatten out in my border book so I'm not worried about it being so sloppy that's an interesting button look how those those um, holes are spaced that's kind of different I put a button up here Let's see what I got in my gold stuff. I got sequins. Not, I don't have much in here really. <laughs> I have a heart charm. I'll put that on there. What the heck? Got to use it somewhere. Okay. And then one of these rhinestone flowers, and I think that'll about do it. Okay. Now this one is, this is huge. This almost looks like a coaster. <laughs> it's, it's about the size of a coaster really. Um, but I'm going to use it anyway. Um, this I'm going to trim down. I do want the red around it, but i, I got to trim it down. I'm going to leave a, a margin around it because I want to keep some red, but the rest of this I will lose. Okay. 
I'm just going to glue one side of this. I really like the bird. I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to use that on a page that says Wander. Okay, then I got this sticker. Just for no reason. Okay. I was hoping this would be smaller. I've got this glitter circle I've been trying to get used up. I'm gonna I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna use that on something maybe. Oh, oh and I got some gold. Maybe I can use it there? No. I'm looking for my medium glue dots. How could I possibly lose them? Where are they? Oh, right there under my hand. <laughs> that just wasn't where I was looking. Okay, I had another button. got these stars, these glittery stars. They might be glow-in-the-dark stars to put on your ceiling. I'm not sure. I, I need to add something to this. Didn't have much to work with. Well, I think... Oh. I got a large brad. I'm just going to put it there for no reason. It's a, is that a cardinal? A red one and a yellow one. You don't see yellow ones very often. This would look right there. Yes. And when I pull something out and say I'm going to use that, I can usually get it used up. Okay. Hmm. 
things don't stick very well onto glitter. I'm going to grab some on there. Then I got this, um, this sticker. I was going to put it over there, but I can't put it on the glitter. Well, I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to put some glue on the glitter. Okay, I like it. And I got the word smile. And a couple of buttons. Punch a hole. And I put that bird right where I want to punch my hole. That'll work. Slightly off center. I don't care. That's pretty cute. Birds. I really like working with birds. Okay, this. This was pretty small, so I decided to choose a narrow tag. Sometimes when I'm making my tag raw tags then I end up with um some you know from cereal boxes and stuff I end up with these odd sizes and so what the heck it, tags don't have to be any specific shape So I got a pretty little teddy bear. I need to make a list. I've got like over 30,000 pins on my Pinterest board. Plus you can just go find anything. Um, and I need to make a list of things that I like to put on my tags and borders so I don't forget. I forget that I have teddy bears and I like to put those on there. Um, Uh, I like Victorian houses, birds, um, I got a lot of cute mice. Some stickers I had glue to and others I don't. Oh, this is coming out nice. Now that's pretty cute. This thing is not really doing it for me, but I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to worry about it at all. And I, I like to make tags that I can journal on.
pretty much always put my <laughs> subject on at an angle. That's just my little quirk and I think it adds interest. I was gonna put this on. I need some glue. I, I was gonna put it on up there. I can. I guess I still can. I'll move my little heart. Yeah. Okay. I'll put my little heart right there. With a button. And I'll add a second button up here. Alright, another tag done. I tried to come up with some embellishments. But this is about all I came up with. I just don't have a lot of stuff. And then I had these little tags. I got to got to add something to them to make them my own. So And I don't think this <laughs> butterfly goes great with that. This is kind of rustic leather look and this is bright and almost fluorescent. But whatever okay now I need something for the middle of it these rhinestones because I use those a lot. I think I might try to use that up on something today because otherwise I just forget that I have it. And that too, what the heck? <laughs> I didn't mean to get that out of there. Okay. So there's a little embellishment. Do I have any wor tiny words? Very tiny words. Mine red. Here's forever. There. Not bad. Okay. This one, all I'm going to do is add a button to it. Kind of a thick button, actually. I think right there. I'm thinking, should I punch a hole in there? No, I'm not going to. Okay, this one. here in the corner and this little flower with a small rhinestone center okay and now I've got this
before I started making tags and borders, I discovered um, pocket pages, which you take, you use a um, baseball card pockets, you know, the sleeves that you put baseball cards in, and you make these little um, creations and put them in the pockets, and um, you can add like some little bits of craft supplies in there and stuff and you trade them with people um, and I think I made one pocket for each color <laughs> gotta stick with my colors and uh, but I never had anybody to trade with so and then I'm like well, what do they do they just sitting here doing nothing <laughs> um, so I've been using them for subjects for my um, tags and borders and I've got them pretty much used up. I don't have very many left. I don't have a plan here. <laughs> I'm going to put the flower. right there it's just a little something I could write a date or something on um, it's a little square of glitter paper I'm just going to stick that up there And here's a good place for the rhinestone. Glue dots do work pretty good on, on a, the glitter paper. And then I'll add a button and this will be done. Oh, the button goes right there. Okay. And I got this. Look at that gas pump. I like that. This is going to be like for a man. I need to cut this down. I just really didn't know what to put on here. Excuse my noise here. I like I like to round the corners so I think it's a more finished edge. So this will be a, a border that I can journal on. I've got these little little corners just all over the floor. So I'll put that up here. Glue sticks almost out. <laughs> put that there. Had my little things hang hanging off the side. You know it's funny these never c c just come out of here until they're almost empty. Let's see. Just 
put that there for no reason. Then I got the sticker that says, such a good guy. I think I'll put that up here. And add a couple of buttons. I need more. I need more on here. I'm thinking one of those stars. Yes. Okay, that one's done. Oh, I need to clean the glue off of this. It's starting to build up. I just love these cutting mats. These are these are cutting mats from Dollar Tree. They come two in a package for a dollar. Haven't tried the other one yet. Of course, it's just the same. <laughs> I'm still on my first one, and it's it's so easy to clean the glue off of. I, I I used to use newspaper, and then sometimes the newspaper would get all gunked up, and and the newsprint would stick to my stuff. And this is this is awesome. Okay. So I got another bird. I do like my birds. I'm using a lot of cardinals today because they're, they're red. Okay. I think just for no reason I will stick this. I gotta trim this off of something. Not good about the edge there. I'm gonna just let that stick out underneath there for no reason. I have several of these things and I don't know why they made them like that with no not going all the way around in a full circle but I use it anyway I need to slip that up under here. Okay, and then I got this date sticker. Beautiful. Nice polka dotted flower. I think I'll put this button on here. 
That's a very large button. I hope it's not too thick. to put in the center of the flower. No wonder I felt like I didn't have enough stuff to decorate my pages. I forgot all about this stuff. I'm going to add a, a little bug. A little ladybug. There. Voila. Just for no reason. Okay. I gotta go shift the rest of the rest stuff off my table. Okay, I got my stuff moved over. This is just a little tag that came in with some other stuff. I think it came with a bag of ephemera I bought. Um, so I'm gonna decorate it a little bit and make it my own. This is it's so small, it's more of an embellishment than a tag. Okay. There's my bag of stuff. Let me see what I can find. I think I'll use another ladybug. That's all that needs. That's done. Okay. And this one. Trim this down a little bit. Around the corners. Come on. Start with my little things hanging off the side. This is another very small tag, more like an embellishment. Okay. That's a pretty ratty looking flower. stone right there and I want some more <laughs> ladybugs ladybugs look good with strawberries I got some small ones I'm gonna add two these were on a sticker page and I just cut them apart that's how I do things. Uh, 
There. That's cute. Okay. One day, this is one of my first tags I made a few years ago. I took a whole bunch of, of print scraps and I cut out my tag shapes. This is paper. And then I, I had a lot of um, solid scraps, which I hardly ever use solid paper. So I glued the, the scraps to the solid paper and then I trimmed around the edges so they have a border. I made a whole bunch of those one time. And this is from a scrapbooking catalog that I got at a thrift shop and that's just an idea of something you can make using their supplies so I cut it out I am so frugal I would just use anything so I'm gonna add a flower And I need something in the middle, a button. Where's my red buttons? If I ever need a button for my to replace a button off my clothes or something I just come to my scrapbooking supplies and use a button and if I find have extra buttons from clothes and stuff I just put them in with my scrapbooking supplies I think I will add this on there no reason just do it Okay. This one's going to be cute. I got a bug. This one I made um, from a cereal box and added some strips of scraps. This is a journaling card. I'm going to I'll be able to journal on a scrapbooking page. Oh, I didn't add I didn't add my, my little scraps of paper for that one. Okay. this I don't really trust this this is one of them little foam sticker things and it doesn't really seem very sticky so I'm gonna take it off and add a glue dot If my battery runs out, my, I, this video is going to come to a sudden stop and that's going to be the end. I don't have to charge it up overnight. Oh, that's going to stick good now. There's a little caterpillar. 
or an ant. I don't know what it is. Okay, and I got a flower. I'm going to just put that right. Oh, where am I going to put that? Right here. I don't like this, like it's a speaking thing, you know, like from a cartoon. So I'm going to cover that up. Yeah. Okay, now I had a button, and I think that'll that'll be enough. You can make these just a few things on there, or lots and lots of stuff. I need something right there. But I think I'm going to call it good. I don't know. Pretty bare right there. Nope, nope, it's done. It's done. There's another one I made. I ran the strips in, in different directions to cover that cereal box. Tex Texas toast box, that's what it is. This is another one of those from the scrapbooking catalog. It says, you brighten my day. Okay, I need more. I need more stuff. Sequins. Rhinestones. You know what's missing is butterflies. I don't have any butterflies. <laughs> butterflies don't come in red. Not at least I don't have any in red. I think I'll add another ladybug. There's a big flower button. Okay, we'll call that good. I got this. I'm going to trim this down. Well, I'll leave some red around the edges because it's a print. It's amazing how much I use scissors. <laughs> For years, my friend gave me a um, Sizzix. The original Sizzix. Um, no, no computer, no nothing fancy. Uh, I had no intention of ever buying one, but I've, so now I have a die cut machine. But for years and years, I never had one. Never had any intention of ever getting one. And I cut things out. I, I have cut out so many things, and a lot of times I just cut them out when I'm not even going to use them yet. I just so that they're ready. Sometimes I'll just spend hours and hours cutting things out. It's amazing how much you use your scissors. Okay. This was stuck in my book.
Okay, now I can write on that if I want. I can decorate it with something if I want. Home is where our story begins. I love being at home. <laughs> I, I just can't wait to get off work and come home to my craft room, to my family, to my junk food. <laughs> I love it at home. But when I was widowed 21 years ago, I spent two years